All right, you are watching DefenseReview.com. We are at the M5 Network Security booth, and we are looking at a little SCS 100 unit. And if you could please uh, tell us about this, we're talking with Merrick Carmen, by the way. Hi, how are you? Hi. So Hi. the uh, SCS 100 here is uh, essentially a flyaway kit or a solo STN light. This device here is everything you need uh, to affect secure communications other than the laptop that you're going to use. Right. So basically in that case is your high grade crypto as well as this device here. We try and make this as easy to use as possible allowing the, the person that's traveling to not require communication support. So literally no communication support, a high ranking officer, a solo, a liaison officer can achieve secure communications without their aid. Right. So for example here we're running over hotel and uh, I could additional to that I could bring up a Wi-Fi bearer and connect using the easy to use touchscreen, find a wireless network, join it and mesh my communications back with the strategic interface. I can, additional to that, uh, use a soft phone on this device, make a phone call. There's a battery inbuilt, so I can transition when from the hotel. Phone, when you say a soft phone, you mean like a cell phone? Soft okay. phone, soft. as in voice over IP phone. Oh, voice over IP. So, yep. Okay, got it. I can, battery included, so I can <laughs> remove the power and transition from a fixed situation in a, in a hotel uh, to a car, plug it into the cigarette lighter and go live on uh, BGAN, on the move terminal, or on uh, 3G or 4G. So basically everything you need here uh, in built to this tiny little package. This has 3G, 4G, Wi-Fi, VDSL, 3 gigabit Ethernet, all built into this device, including cyber security. These days as we uh, rely more and more on uh, net-centric warfare, we, we rely more and more on our networks to conduct our business, uh, we must be vigilant to the cyber threat. The problem is that um, we would typically rely on strategic sensors to find out what's going on. What we're doing with this is we're actually putting intrusion detection and firewall capability right out of the tactical edge. So that's what makes this product right. a little bit different. And, to, and, and uh, what's the situation with this laptop here? So this laptop is connected through here, drawing a bearer from a hotel internet service, communicating back with a tactical interface in Australia, performing a video conference with that device over there, the SCS200. This is a larger model. This one here is designed to support five people, where the uh, 100 is designed to support only one. Is this a soft phone you were talking about? Or? Well, this here has soft phones, both on the red side, so Sipanet and Nipanet phones built in. But it also provides power over Ethernet to a fixed handset uh, to support normal voice over IP telephony. Gotcha. And then there's another laptop. That is communicating to that one there via that same system. So it's a fully meshed IP communication system using public IP bearer systems. Right, but this is the coolest little thing in the whole thing, right? Yeah, yeah, this is uh, game changing in terms of its form factor. Imagine previously having to carry a great big briefcase with all sorts of equipment. Literally now, we're talking about this and a laptop. Right, piece of cake. And uh, yeah, it was uh, very interesting just hearing about it from the uh, Australian that I was riding in the car with, and he was telling me about this. He was very excited about this. Very actually. good. So, all right, uh, M5 Network Security, Cybersecurity at SOFIC 2012. You are watching DefenseReview.com. Thank you.